Dom, welcome back to FACE. How are you? It's been a while. Yeah, yeah it's been a while. Can you hear me? Got you, Dom. So uh, you, we talked on Skype, I don't know, about three, four months ago. And yeah, you were very excited about this platform that you've developed. And <laughs> yeah. that's, I yeah. think that's uh, what you want to talk about today, right? Yeah, just a couple of things. I think um, I was just uh, obviously, yeah, what I've been up to in the past. Uh, I think I, I spoke to you. I, I looked from the diary. It was about um, June 21. And it was interesting because I know you guys obviously big currency players. And uh, we had this big discussion about um, it was trading 93. So I actually looked at the charts yesterday and uh, and uh, just kind of revised some charts in case anyone wanted to look at them. But I mean, again, oh, okay. Why don't you share just, your screen? Yeah, it, I mean, it was just... Um, uh, Green box on the bottom. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I'm just doing it. Um, so, yeah, i got the Dixie here. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, we just looked at the monthly candle on it. It's pretty powerful. Yeah, exactly. And I, I, I got this. And I remember when we were talking 93s. And, I, and at the time, I think everyone was thinking it was going lower. And I, I said, look, if rates go higher, dollar's going to go higher. And uh, it was one of those moments when you were absolutely beautifully right. I didn't trade it at all. <laughs> Classic. Um, but yeah, I, I got, you can see here, you've got this channel. This is a weekly chart. And uh, yeah, I mean, you've also got like a head and shoulders here. But, you know, it's right on the edge here, right? So if it breaks that... Uh, you know, it's it's it, there's some form of retracement up into the highs. You know, um, I haven't done the fibs, but yeah, I kind of agree yeah, with like, what I, you guys I are think, saying. I think uh, sixty one eight is about one oh nine or so. Yeah, somewhere yeah, somewhere up here. Six is yeah uh, in the one tens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so right about this level. Yeah. Uh, so is your view that uh, that was an important high, and this is just. Uh, a wave two or a corrective move. In yeah, the I think so. I mean, I, I think um, what I wanted to do is just kind of show this with um, uh, the, uh, let me just, two six. How do I get rid of this? So I'm um, I, I uh, can I move this? Yeah. Can you see my can you see my ES screen now? Yeah, got it. Yeah. So so again, this is a weekly chart. And it's what's been interesting is you know, this we're in a core, it's it's all about inflation, right? And then obviously PCs just come out. We've just broken this level. We're right on it here. If you take, you know, you've got this flag here. Uh again, weekly chart. We're right on the edge. Uh uh at 75 yesterday, which which on the ES we we bounced from uh up to another core level at 420, 4020. And um, yeah, I, I got 60s really. Um, we're now trading 65. You know, below this, then I think we're going back into the 3,900 and potentially a, yeah. a, a retouch of, of the, uh, the breakout. Breakout. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so a I big think, level. Too. Yeah, exactly. This kind of 780 level. Um, but you know anything can turn on a dime, and and it, it it's 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 just quite interesting. We've got a lot of divergences. Yeah, be a, you really have to be tactical. You can't really marry a narrative. You have to trade it. Absolutely. So, that, I mean, so you have to date can, it, date yeah. it. You know, yeah. not you maybe go steady for a while, maybe get engaged, but not marry a narrative. No, no, no. I mean, the narratives change every week. You know, one minute it's pivot, next minute it's inflation, disinflation and so forth. But I mean, ultimately, you've got, you know, I, I, certainly something I was saying last uh, well, a year and a half ago when I spoke to you last. It's like, you know, this is, the inflation is going high. There's no doubt about it. And the true inflation is twice or if not three times above what is stated, certainly in the UK. Okay. You know, if, you, if, you, if you go shopping, you, you, you know about it. And uh so I think um, well, what's been interesting is certainly over the last sort of like month, uh, six weeks, you know, you had well, you had an all-time high in the FTSE. Uh, yeah. DAX has had a twenty-seven percent move, I think, from from October lows. So you know, the Europeans have been on a on a, on a screen while while compared the to the US, was, yes. yeah, exactly, which is bizarre. You know, very very rare that that happens. Um, so we'll see. I think we know. maybe it's about the dollar and wanting to own assets in. Uh the euro 
rather yeah, than I just, dollar. I did, yeah, Maybe. but I mean, you know, the, the, the cable and euro, they're off their lows. I just, yeah, it's, it's just strange. It, it very, it's, it's infrequent that this happens, that you have this divergence between kind of, you know, market indices across Europe and the US. Usually, you know, um, uh, you know, the US is by far uh, the leader. And maybe maybe it's leading to the downside, you know, or maybe, but the there rates, yeah, maybe rates are, uh, are, are just kind of too much to handle in the US at 5%, where obviously Europeans are still 2.5%. UK is like 3.75, I think, you know, nearly four. So maybe that's kind of the sweet spot, but anything over five, you know, it's just not good for, for, for the American indices and, you know, borrowing costs are just too high. So, um, so, yeah, so what positions, uh, what positions are you holding or looking to put on? I've got, I've, I've got a small short, um, but that was overnight. I, I generally day trade. I don't really swing trade, um, unless we're at kind of pivotal points. Um, okay. which is like your 4,100, 4,200. Um, anything really over this kind of flag spike, uh, um, I, I was short here. But um, yeah, just I, I just wanted to just give you guys a, a kind of overview of what, what's going on. It's a tricky time. It's not, it's not easy. Uh, and uh, certainly this kind of 3,900 to 4,100 in the ES is a, uh, it's a bit of a no man's land, you know, um, You've got one camp saying disinflation breakout, you know, and then, and the others are just saying, look, you know, recession's coming, but Fed's not pivoting. Thus, uh, you know, ultimately it's a it's a slow, uh, steady uh, retreat downwards uh, in in the in the U.S. indices. So, um, yeah, don't marry the narrative, trade price, and and, and see what. Well, happens. especially don't marry anyone else's narrative. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. At least have your own. <laughs> That's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. talking about. Have your own narrative. Yeah, of course. Not blindly follow some, you know. Yeah. Someone else's. Uh, yeah. Keep off know. Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, Dom. so yeah, so yeah, just to talk about. I, I think I briefly mentioned it last time. You know, four years now. Um, we've been building this algo. Um, uh, There's myself and a, a few guys. We've got a professor of. Um, of um, statistics at Oxford University, a professor at um, Munich University. And, you know, it's taken us a long time. We've built our own indicators and stuff like this. And uh, we finally, after a year of testing last year um, in simulated and then in uh, a demo environments, we, we went live on January the 1st. Uh, we're currently up 12%, which is good. Um, and what we've also done is we've, we've built via MT Trade uh, MetaTrader 4 and 5, actually, with a whole bunch of brokers, um, the ability to copy these uh, uh, signals, trade signals. Uh, and, and we went live with that on the 3rd of Jan. And, uh, yeah, it's been it's been very good thus far. Uh, technically, it's been fine. We've built lots of back-end stuff and rec reconciliation and, and um, making sure that the clients are safe and so forth and trades are getting closed out correctly. I mean, we've done a huge amount of work on it. And... Um, so yeah, I mean it's it's um, something we're kind of proud of. Um, we, we were rolling out this weekend, uh, so we, we we do like a trend hunter on the ES and the uh, NQ. Last year it, it, it returned eighty seven percent, so you know, nice figures. Um, uh, Twelve percent this year so far, which is good. Max drawdown is one and a half percent, so I think it's it's looking good. We've got about one hundred thousand under AUM. It's a small tiny kind of little mini hedge fund um but like i say it's taken us four years and um you know if people are interested they can they can ping us or ping me i can put something in the chat and um certainly uh you know you can um ask questions about it we're doing webinars and stuff like that it's free at the moment uh, we're just kind of getting people uh involved in it and taking people on a journey and um you know, if people are interested, they can contact us. But uh, yeah, we're rolling out CL, um, uh, well, crude, gold, and, and a YM uh, this weekend. And um, we've back tested over 15 years. We've got the tick data. We've got everything, you know, uh, in terms of professional setup. And um, yeah, it's the letter trading hub. Uh, the two guys I'm working with are Spanish. They, they went to uh, Granada University and and then did their PhDs uh, elsewhere. 
But um, so you guys, it sounds yeah, like you went with a different model from when you and I talked, where you can you had uh, traders offering signals to people. So we do we do have traders as well. So it's the same, what we're trying to build is and actually is a social trading hub. So we have some traders. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought you were yeah, going to talk yeah. about. Yeah, so so the algo is kind of our main product. So we have, uh -huh. we have certain traders, like a trader, for instance, he, last year he made 148%. Uh, we're building a PAM for him in Europe uh, and the States, if people are interested. Um, and uh, so he did 148% last year. These are fully documented. Everything's checked, broker statements, you name it. Uh, uh -huh. You know, we, we collect real-time trades. Uh, we display... Uh, the PL real time, everything's in real time, everything's transparent. Uh, Let's no see it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we have we have a couple of traders. We're doing, we've got uh, a discretionary FX trader, uh, a discretionary uh, ES trader. He also does options. He returns 764% in seven years, fully documented. Uh, you know, people can review the stats, review the trades, they can review the market data. And so, and, and that's what we're really doing is building that social trading hub where we can connect really good traders or strategies and algos. Uh, most of our stuff is also AI uh, inclusive and, um, and then building clients. And, and, and really we've got like, you know, the, the, the technology to, to, to make it all happen so that the client can uh, consume these trade signals and um, hopefully get some nice alpha in return. And uh at the moment, it's it's uh, you know we're we're looking at uh, retail clients and uh, small funds of funds, um, small small hedge funds that are interested in, in, in kind of building it out. And uh, you know, we're, well, why we're, are why are we looking at an S and P chart instead of that platform? <laughs> well, the plat I, I'm giving you the I, I can give you the platform or I can give you the website. Can you see it? Can you see mine? Yeah. So, I, was I was trying to, um, you can see how bad I type, guys. Hold on. And I also, uh, on my laptop, I don't really use. Okay, so this is our website. Um, you can you can you can view it. You can look at our traders. You can look at the performances. Um, it's it's all here. You can join our community. We've got a Discord community that gives out live trades, and um, and then you know we, we we do webinars. And if you're interested in, we can you know uh, in, invite you to a webinar and go through the actual whole process. We've got a whole bunch of packs uh, that that uh, describe it, and. Um, yeah, just get in contact and, um, you know, please feel free to, to reach out. Uh, we're open, we're honest, we're transparent. Dare I say no BS. And uh, you can view all the trades and results and so forth. And, and, and the idea is, is uh, you know, we'll slowly build it and we'll take it from there. All right, Dom. All right. So okay. uh, I, wish, I wish you good luck with this. So Thank you, Dale. It's really growing kind. And uh, your view on the dollar and s and and yeah i think i think we're i think we're a very big inflection point at the moment i think you just need to be a bit careful really let, let yeah. the market kind of make its decision and then follow it right but it's yeah. uh it's uh, a lot of false breakouts recently and uh and uh love but, yeah love those yeah they're great they are great uh yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, but you got to be careful with them because I mean, you got to be jaded to do well in this market. You have to be very cynical, and your cynicism can pay off. So, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, uh, it's a natural environment for a contrarian. Yeah, exactly. I mean, certainly last year and a half was fantastic because um, yeah. I think when I spoke to you last, we were talking about. I said, look, guys, there's, there's no way you know inflation's going to stay here. You know, and yeah. coming up December twenty two rates. Rates are at pricing two percent, and the, and the CPI is at five percent, and then it suddenly when it all caught up, you know, in, in in sort of like August, September, October last year, it's beautiful, you know. But uh, you know, the market's in a bind. It, it kind of doesn't know if it needs to believe the Fed or not, right? And it's it's almost pushing the Fed, I think, to kind of be a bit more rock solid and say, well, no, we're go we're going to deal with this inflation, and you're going to have to you're going to have to have some pain. 
and uh, the markets are not used to that. You know, yeah, they're yeah, used to the Fed rolling yeah. over, and uh, yeah. you can see it bounced off that sixty area. It's only small, but sixty eight trading at the moment, and um, so yeah, it's, it's a, really it's a reversal month. We took out last month's high, previous month's high, and we're uh, lower on the month by quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take out for the bulls uh, 3,800. Then you'd have an outside candle for the month, but we only have like three days left. I don't think that's going to be. Yeah, I don't think that'd be a bit yeah. too much. So, but, um, good talking to you, buddy. Yeah, thanks, Dale. Yeah, great, yeah. great talking to you as well. Thanks for the time. And um, yeah, for less Trading Hub, come and visit. And uh, if you have any questions, please shout. Okay, Dominic Galley, everybody. Find them at valettatradinghub.com. And uh, your handle again is Trade Inflection, at Trade Inflection, correct? Yeah, at Trade Inflection, yeah. Okay, so that's how you find Dominic, okay? And uh, thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend. Uh, recharge. And don't just count your pips, count your blessings. And we'll see you all, God willing, on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Uh, Dom, thanks again for dropping in and showing us what you've been spending your time doing. Thanks, Dale. Take Wish care. You mu much success with it. Yeah, thank you, sir. Take care. Okay, adios, everyone. Have a great weekend. You could join the team, and I'm sure they're still trading their butts off. Uh, well, it looks like about 23 minutes on the uh, morning edge, and so that you have an edge, join the morning edge. I'll see you guys next week. You're welcome. You're I'm welcome, Tom. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. See, see you, David. Everyone, adios. Hey, traders. This is Blake Morrow with Forex Analytics. Thanks for stopping by our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like these videos, share them, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the content that we provide here for free. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.